EastEnders episode reveals major laundrette plot hole, seriously baffled. EastEnders cast member Mick Carter, Danny Dyer, and Honey Mitchell, Emma Barton, seriously threw a spanner into the works in last night's episode. But what did they do that confused audiences so much? They simply paid a visit to the laundrette on Bridge Street and viewers know that the business was shut for months in 2016 when Dot Branning, June Brown, was pushed out of the job by Mr. Papadopoulos Jr. Tarek Benham The premise was finally reopened this year. And Karen Taylor, Lorraine Stanley, was given a position. Yesterday the laundrette was bursting at the seams with customers and Karen made a killing with her additional ironing service. She was even branded a lifesaver by the Queen Vic landlord for helping him out. But obviously the sudden influx of business didn't go unnoticed by eagle-eyed viewers at home, who were left wondering how residents coped for the year it was out of action. Where have the residents of Albert Square been doing their laundry the whole time the laundrette was shut down? Twitter one person demanded, it's 2018, why doesn't anyone in EastEnders own a washing machine yet? So where have the residents of Albert Square been doing their laundry the whole time the laundrette was shut down? Suddenly got very busy in there and I'm sure Mick and Linda must have a washing machine at the pub. Noted another. A third continued, so now Laundrette has reopened everyone is using it again, um excuse me what were you lot doing for the months and months it was closed then? You're telling me nobody has a washing machine in their house? Maybe residents had been running off to a different London borough to clean their smalls? Or perhaps they'd been hand washing their clothes in the tub? We wouldn't be too surprised and the laundrette has been hotbed of interest recently, with Karen's gobby mouth often landing her in trouble. Last month, the soap was locked in a race row when she launched into a Brexit rant. Catch East Enders tonight at 7.30pm on BBC One.